Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Field Service Project Manager for Labrie Plus. Today we're going to talk about the Whitkey Labrie Multiplex System and its corresponding module location. Please refer to Labrie Technical Service Bulletin 14-26 for further information. We'll begin by looking at the modules the operator will commonly interface. Inside the cab, there are four modules, three of which are visible to the operator. Module 11, Module 12, and Module 13. And our emergency stop, extend, and retract button for packer operation. Next we'll look at Module 10. Module 10 is the master or brains of the multiplex system. It is located inside the cab in a number of different locations. Those locations are dependent upon chassis manufacturer. Common places to look for this module would be under the driver's side kick well or atop the doghouse cover. Next we'll move on to our 5060 nodes or known as our dual module. Opening up the hopper access door allows us to view the modules located underneath the cover mounted on the front bulkhead plate. The cover is retained with three bolts. Remove these bolts and access to the module can be obtained. Once the cover is removed, you'll see that the module is actually two separate CPUs operating within one housing. Each module has its own electrical connector containing its own power, ground, and Libri Multiplex CAN connection. Lastly, we'll look at Node 30. Node 30 is located at the top of the tailgate underneath the large metal cover. Remove the hardware and you will expose the module and its corresponding connections. Important points to remember are that modules 10, 11, 12, and 13 will always be located inside the cab. 50 and 60, our dual module, will always be located inside the hopper area, and module 30 will always be located at the top of the tailgate. Thank you for watching this Labrie how-to video.